What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're we'll be playing Final Fantasy 16 again. <clears throat> and this is part six of me playing it. So I checked the runtime of how many hours left I have. Actually, I checked how many hours left I have in a YouTube video. And I only have 20 hours left until I beat the game. Like, the, I only have 20 hours left and then the game is finished. And let me see. Let me see what's my percent. I'm 42% almost done with the game. Now let's just go here. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kubka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We'll face it together then. To the end. Come on. Bloodline, okay. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will Far. we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. This is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you. No, Jill. Look. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. It would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. What business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the miller's son? All right, I heard you. Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, Empire gets. Don't they just? Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take 
from the Empire? Or were there a hundred full legions? Hundred? I heard it were a thousand. We're going hunting for outlaws. Two more left to join the car. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The Black Shields. Just now. You seen him, didn't you? At yeah. least I think there was a Black Shields. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? Well, what do you think? Amber's the arson to nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. Huh. If only we were. I might have turned them in and become a Black Shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. <laughs> May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Vicerine's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throat. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. Okay, we're gonna go to the next village since that one was rude. This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. <laughs> I am the thunder.
Okay. Just one more now. There's probably 600 more and then I'll do it. Okay, just 500 more. No, oh, come on, I just wanted that. told to stay in your homes the black shields you know who we are and still you would bear your steel why then we owe you our thanks you have saved us the trouble of an interrogation to dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting doors on these our swords we swear. Say that again. I'll show you a true shield of Tell me what I want, and the end will be swift. <laughs> Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you. <sighs> we come bearing a message. 
village. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <laughs> they await you in Ordeal. Guardians of the Flame. <laughs> Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. something boy death oh that is just messed up Understood her. But this. Oh, Clive. I will learn what madness drives her, and I will end it. We should go. Yes. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. Oh. Okay. I didn't realize that. View at bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. They're all Rosarian. But this is their home. Come on, sprint! Sprint! There you go. I don't have time to fight you guys. I'm too strong. Lazarus. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. Let's hope my uncle fared better.
That's the main gate. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. Mm -hmm. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built, so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. And the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? As long as it is abandoned. Black like birds. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. It's luster. Where do we go? We'll show ourselves out. I guess not. Oh, 
I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. Oh. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Wait. Me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. Wait. To fear from us. Speak inside. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us. Though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an Empire. But, we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Why? The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother? But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but... She wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord. But in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And, since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why... I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So wait, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. <sighs> this is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. Yes, we will. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So wait. Let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our wits. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. Tell me that's the Archduke's son. 
Allow me to tend to your needs, my lord. Of course, my lord. Will that be all? As you wish, my lord. Of course, my lord. Will that be all? I will be here should you need aught else. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill and I make for Buett Bridge, and provoke the main host at their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Black or white? Okay. May the blessing of the Phoenix go with you. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. I can't be sideways. Come along now. The bastard are looking. There they are. On your command, my lord. Now. What is it now? I told you. We bear a message for the Vicerine. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields. Then come, die along with your flame. For Rosaria! For Rosaria! For Rosaria. Your petty revolution ends here. On these our swords, we swear. Bloody hell. Reinforcements from the far bank. 
stand albeit a misguided one in taking it you have but proven our point that this land is in dire need of cleansing <laughs> There. I don't see any more. <sighs> Nor do I. The plan worked. Yeah. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud! My, uh, Lord, perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. 
I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. And we must fight for it. As we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian Standard flies over Rosalith once more. So why he die? Think we should fall back to Port Azolder before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. Quest complete. Has my uncle been funding you and your comrades endeavors since the beginning lord byron was the first person i turned to after forming the guardians and had i known of this tunnel back then i wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall i suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious and appearances must be maintained were the vice regency to catch wind of lord byron's involvement in our movement They'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience, especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. It's the mark of the Guardians. Display it, and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. Yay. I shall wear it with pride. Are you sure that you do? I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need. I know. Go on now, my lord. Accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. All right, I guess my uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. Let's see his he uncle. Up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. <laughs> Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. You would mock me as well. Uh, 
It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshod. <laughs> Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. What? <laughs> Curse thee, infectious flax wench. E even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more. Bravo, Uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, 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 Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> I have to be right back. Well, I just got bullied by my brother, so now let's continue. Oh, you always were fond of that scene from the saint of the sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. I have a favor to ask, Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Sit. Uh, see that you use the good plates, Rutherford. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming viceroy, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but. These atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what, I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster. For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. Right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. Until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. <laughs> is that true? It's not uh, untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy, but now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> right then, 
Who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind? Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. had become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. You're not a monster. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. Here, here be the monster. knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom, but Vivian could probably make an educated guess. Typical nobles. Back again, Lord Rosfield. I'm touched that you should find me such good company. <sighs> it is not your company, but your counsel that I seek on this occasion. Ah, <sighs> ever the charmer. What will it be today, then? The Iron Kingdom. 
I need to know what to expect. You'll soon be setting sail for Drake's breath then, I take it. The mother crystal that rises from the boiling sea. There was a time when a true-blooded Rosarian had only to brave the waves to visit it. But then the iron blood made their move. As you know, the Iron Kingdom rules over the islands to the west of Storm. Or rather, its church does. But this is not the pragmatic approach to state religion employed by the Holy Empire to manipulate the masses. No, the Iron Kingdom is the literal embodiment of the crystalline orthodoxy. And so, if one is to understand it, one must start there. As the name implies, the your... orthodoxy holds the mother crystal sacred, and they do not take kindly to heathens plundering the objects of their worship for the means to fill wash tubs and light lamps with frivolous feats of magic. Indeed, the faithful consider ether a sinful thing, a poison no less. And to them, a dominant is an instrument of evil, albeit one they have proven only too happy to turn against their enemies. Some 80 years ago, in Northern Storm, Drake's eye collapsed. Soon after, in pursuit of Aether and with the Blight at their backs, the Northern Territories descended upon the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. And when the Shields of the Flame marched north to meet them, the Iron Kingdom spied an opportunity. A few short days later, the Crusaders landed on the island of Mount Drastanus, home of Drake's breath, and plucked it from the Duchy's grasp. Rosaria tried to reclaim it, of course, but to no avail. I doubt more than a handful of duchy men have set foot on its shores in your lifetime. Nor are they like to again, under the Empire's stewardship. Meaning the Iron Blood will keep their island. And with it, the foothold they need to march on mainland soil when next they spy an opportunity. The Mother Crystal is both the object of the Iron Blood's worship and their gateway to the continent, making Drustinus the holiest of holy grounds, from which the Orthodox Crusade shall one day sail forth to claim the remaining Mother Crystals, or die trying. My father and my grandfather both traded blows with the Iron Blood for control of Drek's breath. Had things unfolded differently at Phoenix Gate, we would have sent our entire fleet against them. But instead, they sent their fleet against Rosaria. Sacked the capital, killed the men, and captured the women, including Jill. I'd say you'd be forgiven for wanting a little revenge, Clive. My only aim is to destroy the Mother Crystal. Then... Thank you all the same. Not much else to do here. Let's see if Jill's ready. First, I want to check something. That monster's taken quite a liking to Lady Karen. Clive. Saying for you, dear. Anything else? And what can I do for you? Better I'll be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Okay, only two hundred more. Oh, 
be over soon. Are you ready? I think so. Jill, when you told me you had to come to terms with your past, you weren't talking about destroying Drake's breath, were you? No. I spoke of Imran, the leader of the Crystalline Orthodox, the man who made me do all those unspeakable things. I'm going to kill him. It's what I need to do to put the past behind me. What I need... to move forward. And I know that I can do it. If you're there beside me. Always. And I'll be beside you, too. We'll bring down the Mother Crystal together. All while Sid looks on. We'll make him proud. We're gonna destroy that thing. That's pretty cool. Let's see what boss fight are we gonna. Let's see what. Let's see which boss are we gonna fight. The boiling sea. Useful trick. Freezing and thawing the spray to make mist. How did you learn to use your powers like this? The masters made me do it. When the crusaders took to the seas. To keep the fleet's movements from prying eyes. <clears throat> I'm fine. No, you're not. This may be the only chance I get to go back. My only chance to put things right. I have to do this. Whatever the cost. All right. She is. The Iron Kingdom's mother crystal. Drake's breath. Wow, this is what Drake's breath looks like? I mean, I know it stinks, but I didn't think it, it stinks that bad. And to be honest, I'm on Kendrick's side between the beef. And the beef is over, Kendrick won. The Day Not Like Us is my favorite song right now. Certified lover boy, certified pedophile. Fuck, 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 fuck. That come up. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm gonna do my stuff. Why are you trolling like a chain too tired? Try to strike a chord, and it's probably a minor. Allowing a single rowing boat to slip in unseen. The sanctuary is inside the mountain. If we follow the old trail, we should be able to enter by the back gate. All right. Let's go. I might react to a music video because Kendrick said that they not like us. That they not like us video is copyright free. I always imagined and came here I'm good. To reclaim it. it used to belong to Rosaria, didn't it? Once. Kendrick said that not like us mu song is copyright free because basically he wants people to like react to his song. I know its secrets only too well. This path was abandoned after an ether flood. They don't guard it anymore. The perfect little shortcut. They're all Akashic. The ether flood must have spread. It was never as bad as before. And the only way past them is through.
Just a hundred more. Was that an earthquake? They happen all the time. That wasn't even a bad one. It's nothing to worry about. Sorry about that, guys. Let's take on the big guy. Hold on one second. Okay, just a few more. That should be easy. I think I know what it says. Oh, look at this place. What a mess. <sighs> Wait. Yep. Hello again. It's turned. Nothing a shield of Rosaria can't handle. Just like old times. Be sure to keep clear of his way. Believe me, I mean to. That's foul. Don't breathe it in. Oh, that's new.
There. And now I can get that thing I want. Press on. Yes. the volcano you get used to the heat though I don't remember it being quite this hot was that one cause for concern it was and they're getting bigger something's wrong I'm gonna check them. Fast. Oh, wrong way.
We're gonna have to walk that way. Breath. Yeah, it stinks. What the hell is that? I hey. absolutely no idea. Well, whatever it is, I don't think it's friendly.
Yep, there's gonna be a boss fight. One of the demons. But they never leave the lava. If I didn't know better, I think this volcano was about to erupt. Sorry about that, guys. Why attack us? They're peaceful creatures. Then this one must be the exception. Yes!
okay. Uh, yes! <sighs> Thought I was gonna die. And I just leveled up. Now I'm level 26. didn't hear it the gate to the inner chambers is just up there then we make for the sanctuary I need to finish this before the heat finishes me here here we'll enter the Comric by the handmaidens living quarters it was always a hive of activity sounds like we'll have a hard time staying out of sight we won't have to. There's someone there I should very much like to see. Lady Marley, it's me, Python Butha, Jill, it can't be, it is my lady, I cannot talk here, come with me. I'm so glad you're safe. And I, you. Why ever would you risk coming back? Are you a fool, girl? Or have you grown tired of your freedom already? Forgive me, my lady. But I had to come back. There are things I left undone. Tell me, where is the Patriarch? At this hour, he'll be in the Comric, giving thanks. You mean... Oh, that fiend! Clive, we have to get to the Sanctuary. Now! Lady Marley, you must flee this place, gather your things, and go. Now listen here, Jill. In Alak, no. We have company. <gasps> Follow this passage. It leads straight to the Comric. Go on, stop dawdling. Thank you. 
You were always so kind to me. My light in the darkness. Take care, my lady, please. You deserve better than this. A long and happy life, promise me. to do the same. Come on, Clive. We're nearly at the Comrec. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And while I said hi to my family, I got me Coca Cola. Let's continue. It's our welcoming party. I've had enough of their hospitality. Oh, well. How many of them are there? Too many.
where the hell am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? Hold on a second. Found out. And I checked how many hours left now I have. And now I only have 18 hours left. <clears throat> I only have 18 hours left until I beat the game. And so far, this game is amazing. Something I need you to know. I saw the Patriarch do things no one should have to see. And so I swore that he would die by my hand. I understand. I faced my demons. Then you must face yours. It's time to destroy Drake's breath. We're nearly there. Just one last push. Stay down.
Shiva's dominant. Come to beg forgiveness for your failure. For years I followed your orders. Fought your wars. All to protect the children you took. Just as you took me. And what did you do in return? You put them in chains and you slit their throats! Fiend. <laughs> their souls were sullied with a stain of ether. I merely cleansed them of their corruption. A penance paid. Just as the Holy Mother wills it! Repent, abomination! For a monster like you to set foot in the Holy Cymric is in itself a crime deserving of death. You're right. I am a monster. And my soul is stained black. Though not by either. But by the evil of men like you, who made me close my heart and drown in darkness when I should have raged against it. This is my penance. I will be your monster no more. Nor will I suffer you to create another. <laughs> Does the beast bare its teeth at its master? Come then, dominant. Rage, be as you have ever been. A monster! And what are you, Imran? I was forced to kill. You do it by choice. But never again. I bowed to you once. Now it is you who shall bow to me. That's what I want to hear from you. Yeah! Joshua. Wait, what? What happened to him? There, there, there it is, there it is. There it is, that's my thumbnail. Perfect timing. Shiva, how are you? You did it, freak. Come on, Clive. Yeah, you need it, freak. Come on. Remember how it felt. Yes. 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 What? Why? Why can't I do it? Uh, 
I need some popcorn. Please, just one. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. She won't be able to hold that hole back forever. We'll better make this quick. Now I gotta hurry up, this is not gonna last on. Diamond dust. Go. All right. I won't take long.
There's, there's, there's. Go, 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 go!
Finally! <sighs> there. Kill. <laughs> I'm going to finish this, Clive. I don't think you can finish this. To it. We destroyed it. Oh, we destroyed it. What? What? Monster! Monster! Do you have any idea what you have done? I do, Father. I have killed <laughs> the monster! and become an outlaw. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. I love her. It's over. <clears throat> it is. And Shiva exacted her price. She did. Again, the burden fell to you. And I bore it willingly. This was a sin for which I had to atone. Now I can continue at your side with my head held high. Clive, look. It's just like the one at Phoenix Gate. Damn it. We need to leave. Agreed. Ah, Joshua.
Now you keep yours. <laughs> Legacy. We just created a legacy. No, it looks like Joshua is not wearing the hood anymore. This way, Your Grace. Wait, so if that's not Joshua, then who that was? Thank you for your kindness, truly. But I assure you, I will survive. Please, save your medicines for those who need them most. Oh, well, if you're sure. For a moment there, I felt my brother's presence. You did. Come on, I want to. I want a reunion. I want a reunion. Why now, after five years of silence? <laughs> I cannot keep him sealed away much longer. Your grace. <sighs> Do not dirty your hands. <laughs> Look at them all. Like a river flowing to the sea. Or moths to a flame, perhaps. The crystalline dominion, their light in the darkness. More and more lose their homes to the blight and set out in search of sanctuary. While others lose their fortunes to the Dalmechian levies and leave to find new livelihoods. What is it that you seek? In the Dominion, Your Grace. Oh, Dion Lesage. You mean the Crown Prince of San Breck? He has many titles. Dion the Bold, Prince of Dragoons, Odin's Nemesis, or simply Bahamut. I met him once when we were children. He was a chivalrous soul even then and has served his empire indefatigably ever since. And you are confident that he will listen to what you have to say? Our world lurches ever closer to the abyss, and a hidden hand rushes us onward. Ultima's influence extends to every nation, Sandbrek included. If his highness is the man I believe him to be, and I pray that he is. This truth will not have escaped his notice. As the mother crystals fall, the eternal flame wavers and the azure sky begins to bruise. How lucky we were to be blessed by the crystals. And yet how spoiled, like canaries in a gilded cage, growing fat on seed. But now, the bars are closing in, and we must take flight. Painful though it be to leave our home behind, it is what we must do to be free. Which is it that men cannot live without? A blessing that leads to damnation, or a freedom that leads to deprivation? I do not yet know the answer to that question. Do you, Clive? <coughs> Your Grace, let us find a place to rest a while. We can return by the Dalmechian Trail once you have recovered your strength. I realize your duty is pressing, but if your health should fail... I know. Thank you. 
One more crystal to destroy. Meanwhile, in Arabian night, Randalha. The so army's attempt to breach the Empire's defenses and gain the Isles of Ark has failed yet again. Only because your fleet has proved as impotent as a eunuch on laying night. Would you rather we simply fell back to the capital? Enough, both of you. All here agree that the Empire cannot be allowed to maintain its illegitimate claim on the Dominion. However, our casualties mount with each passing day. Oh, him. The big guy. There is a literal sea twixt you and your prize. The armies of Sambrek need but sit back and watch as you harmlessly lap against their walls. They are dug in like ticks and seek to draw out the siege, knowing the capital's stores are nigh bottomless. And what of our wise rulers? Goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might reap. Republican soldiers starve while waiting for orders from Randalar. If you would but take the field, their bellies would be full by nightfall. If I take the field, so too will Bahamut. And our duel will shake the island to its foundations. Instead of liberating the Dominion, you would doom it to destruction. Unless that is what you desire. Uh, uh, if our learned advisor has a solution to propose, we should be glad to consider it. Hmm. That the Emperor's is that what Clive's mother of this Lord Kuka. What it means is that I am disinclined to advise you any longer. That's Clive's mother? Ah, the looks on their faces when you walked through those doors. A perfect picture of stupefaction. They could not believe their eyes. Though I confess, I had my own doubts whether or not you would accept my invitation. Such shocking news. Sid isn't a son of a whore. He's the son of an empress. Your own dear Clive. Yep. Absurd. Who fed you these lies? I have never spent a moment among criminals, save at the gallows. I came here with my son. Not to entertain your baseless accusations, but to put an end to the senseless hostilities between our nations. Very well. You need only agree to the terms I set out. <laughs> Sid took the life of someone dear to me. A woman by the name of Benedicta. I swore to take his in turn. 
This would not be disagreeable to you, I take it. You would finally be rid of the stain on your noble name. In return, I will leave Sandbrek in your capable hands. Your Imperial Majesty. And all for the love of a common whore. <laughs> Cheers. Dominant or no, one cannot hide one's breeding. And beasts will ever belong with beasts. There are greater things in store for you, my darling Olivier. Soon enough, you shall be the crown prince of Sambrec. And when your father goes to meet great Grieger, you shall be emperor of all you survey. The old order shall come tumbling down, and you will rebuild the world in your glorious image. <laughs> Soon. She's been in there for hours. Something must be wrong. Right, after after the storm. Is it true what I'm hearing, Sid? What do you need? What's that for, you, dear? That it. Hold on one second. Fine. Let me come back to you. <clears throat> Is it business? No. Pleasure. No, I just want to take something from you. All right, this is two hundred. This is two hundred, and the last one was two hundred ten. Oh. Platinum sword, okay. No scratches, right? That it. Fine. Then first see how this looks like. Okay, okay. Actually, I know how to take a closer look at the sword. I saw this in a YouTube video and I want to try it. Okay. Has a nice design, but let me test out strength. Okay, it's good. It's a good sword. It's a good sword. It's a good sword. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. All right, I'm back. A 
I've done what I can. Okay. The rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. Understood. And thank you. The curse has spread. Make sure she rests. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. But you shouldn't have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. Kiss, 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 kiss. Come on, come on, come on. No. Come on. <laughs> Those areas under attack. What? What? This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang. Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith. Trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kuka harbors such a grudge against Sid. But as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, I'm not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. I've lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. No. After all, we're in this together. We're all in this together. No, 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 no high school musical now. You know what? We're going to do this now. Okay, we're not going to do it in the next video. We're going to do it now. I want to make this video three hours long. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. I want to make this video three hours long, and I'm gonna make this video three hours long. Like I, like I want to start making longer videos when I play video games. I don't think I'm the only one that always makes song videos. Like, have you seen Jack Septiguy? He made a full movie of him playing Happy Wheels. Gov gave you the news then. We're leaving for Rosaleth. But not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmex to open up a new front. And the video was 22 hours long. Our friends in the provinces. Reports so I'm not the first. In from all over the place. With no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian in the hope she can make sense of them. If you set on going, you'll want to talk to her. Understood. Ah, 
if it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now, where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Ah, uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge, uh, can't hurt? Yep. We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kuka. What's the situation there? <laughs> Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost. But to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmekia's last line of defense. A fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean Imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. Mm -hmm. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident. But not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas. It will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The north. We cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate, then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way, and so must you. We'd best get a move on then. Oh, will you be going too? I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Lead on. Not his home. He's definitely gonna pay now. He is gonna pay big time. Fortify the 
castle gates at once. Hugo and his men have been busy. They've already breached the castle's outer wall. The Imperials are holding the ground for now, but it's only a matter of time before the keep falls. Those fuckers really went to town on this place. Almost like they want to wipe it off the map. Just a means to an end. All this for one man? They didn't have to go so far. If you keep your wits about you, I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way. Be careful. Likewise. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. ready for this but I know it's like a nightmare this was our home come on Clive we have to keep going hey it's almost Capital punishment. This isn't an invasion. It's a massacre. He'll stop at nothing, Clive. Nothing. Gentlemen, <laughs> you want to stay?
With me, then! For the Emperor! Out of our way! I want to know how to level up more in the game.
out of my city or die. Set her loose. They have a curl. Oh, God, again. up to something we need to stop it whatever it takes Get me out of here!
needed that. There. Jill. What? We meet at last, Sid. Or should I say, Lord Rosfield? I've been looking for you for a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. <laughs> I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. I went to some trouble with the decorations. Do you like what I've done with the place? Go to hell. Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join us. But I am sure you will prove compelling company. Leave her alone. Be still, little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your starring moment. to the festivities. Just great, that is. I suppose it's up to me then. <sighs> it's surrendered. Damn, that's a big boy. Do you want me? You bring the prisoner. <laughs> We're gonna die. Yeah, it's no more than she deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw. <laughs> we should get into mine. Lord Kupka commands your presence. You're to bear witness to the girl's execution. Such what? a waste. <laughs> hey, Gav. Gav. Shh. Crystal fetters are a bastard to open, just so you know. 
Don't worry, I'll have them off before you can blink. Where's Jill? In the courtyard. Shit. <laughs> We have to hurry. The Imperials have sounded the retreat and cleared out of the castle. But the place is still swarming with Kupka's men. Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back. Quick as you like, eh? Ah. Nearly forgot. Hold on, Jill. I'm coming. We're gonna finish this level and then we're gonna end the video. I have to get to the courtyard. And then I'll come back in a few minutes and record a regular two hour video. Now this video is probably three hours long. So, yeah. And I just did that just to make it quicker. Because it's my YouTube channel, it's my choice. If you think I upload longer videos, I would check out this YouTuber called Peach Miki. Like she made, she uploaded a video where she played Final Fantasy and they're very long, like three and four hours. And one time she uploaded an 11 hour video of her playing Final Fantasy Rebirth for part one. <laughs> You've got a plan, Clive, because we are fucked if you don't. Yes, we are fucked if you don't. Hey, Toggle. Okay, now that was actually cool. Oh my god! That's my boy! Jill, can you stand? Come, come, Lord Rosby. Don't tell me you tire of my entertainment. Enough! Yes. Perhaps it is time we served the main repast. I trust you are hungry! Need this? Much obliged. Stay close. We're getting out of here. And Togul, thank you. Woo! I'm taking the big guy. What the fuck your dog just did? Later, everyone, with me. That includes you, Tor. Oh, let me see if I could still.
There we go. Still breathing, are you? Excellent. Then Lord Kupka's reward shall be ours. I thought bad news always came in threes. Let them come. Finally. Who's next? Anyone want to face me? It's over. For now. <sighs> but I bet that wasn't the last of them. And they won't stop hunting us until Koopka's dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go okay. On. If they come again, we'll hold them back. All right. But be careful. I promise you, Sid. They'll die by my hand. Let's kill Kupka. 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 You're late. Trouble on the way. Just enjoying your entertainment. How gratifying. Have you come to defend your father's throne? Yes. <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler, an army, even a people. A veritable kingdom of dust. Truly, I see no throne to defend. Dude! That belonged to my father! The hell? Okay, now you're actually gonna pay for that. Enough of your games, Kupka. Just tell me what you want. Sid's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment 
How about your head in a box? Let his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. The only crimes I shall answer for are my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. Mm-hmm. <coughs> did what he could. <coughs> it was me all along. <coughs> <coughs> It was. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, sorry about that. <coughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm the one that killed Benedicta. So if you want anyone's head, have my head. You. You killed her. Yep, I killed your girlfriend. And I'm gonna kill you. <coughs> And to be fair, she was a hoe anyway. She was a hoe, okay? Then I am fortunate indeed. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seems I was wrong. <laughs> I shall have my revenge. We, we shared a dream. I would be the king of the world. She would be my queen. And together, we would rule like the gods we are. But you crushed that dream, ground it into dust. You will pay for what you've done. I'll tear you apart with my bands. And what of you? How many people have you killed? How many dreams? <coughs> You're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. Let's end this. You and me. You'll get no pity from me, Kuka. And this is not no the final part. And no mercy. No yeah! It is time you learned what becomes of those who dare. To cross me! Cross! I'll kill you! Ah! 
It's back to normal. Ah, well, I can't say I didn't expect that. But it's okay, I'll still be there.
Oh, come! You 
There! Had enough? Deserved. Now, do it. Son of a whore! Wow. You mustn't get yourself worked up. What just happened? I'm Wait. sorry about that. I just got like a phone call. Another time, Mythos. That was crazy. Is that all of them? I think so. Well, Luda scum. Who the fuck invited them? Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had to do. Where did you learn? Hold on one second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Let's continue. Do that toggle. <coughs> I'm telling you. Suit yourself. Gav. We have to find Clive. Right, sorry. Uh, behind you, behind you, behind you. Hey. You missed one. We were worried. So was I. <laughs> I was so close. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. Yeah, same here. When did the royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. Mm. Just when we thought we were shot of Titans lot. In pile Odin's. Not enough of them to worry us, though. No. You didn't see the one who took Cooper away. So, what? You think they came here to save him? Well, I'll 
be fucked up. I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our brains, that bastard's getting further away. I really like my Samsung so what phone. Do we do? We go back to the hideaway. I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. And after what Jill's been through. Let's worry about Kupka later, shall we? Aye. All right. Well, give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. Hey, how you feeling? Ready to go home? Yay. Okay, I think I'm going to end the video here. So thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody.